Hallelujah. For you and me who walk with God, every day we have testimonies that speak of His goodness. Every day there's something or another that He does in our lives that speak of how big He is. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, today I want to speak a word of caution to you. Did you know that you and I are accountable to God? That God is watching over us. Everything that we speak, everything that we do, even the intentions that are hidden before the eyes of man, God knows it all. And that's why whatever we do, we need to understand that you and I are to give account to God forget man we may hide things from man we may hide things from people all all around us we may put on an act of religious of being righteous but god knows us for who we are and we are accountable to god there was a man and a woman a couple named ananias and sapphira they sold their land and wanted to show the church that they are giving what they sold to the church for the kingdom work but they had secretly hidden a portion of it for themselves. And what happens when we open to Acts chapter 5 and read verse 4, it says there, While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? By you have not lied to man, but to God. Yeah, it says you have not lied to man but to God. That means Ananias and Sapphira, you are accountable to God. Whatever you did, you did it not to man but to God. Come on, you and I need to live in the awareness of this, that whatever we do, whatever we speak, even the intentions that are hidden to the physical eyes of man, we are accountable to God. And we need to understand that everything everything is going to be taken into account one day when you look into Ananias and Sapphira we see that they were judged on that day itself imagine the things that you and I would have to go through if God would have judged us immediately at that very moment thank God for his mercy that he gives us an opportunity to repent know this one thing that you and I are accountable to God what man thinks of you is irrelevant. The words of appreciation that man gives you is irrelevant. What does God speak about you? That's what matters. Does God speak about you as good and faithful servant? Just as God spoke about Moses that he's the most humble man in all the earth. When God spoke about David that he's a man running after my own heart. Would God speak that about you? Remember you are accountable to God and he will take everything that you've spoken you've done into account when he sits with you one day that's why whatever you do let it be pleasing to the Lord and always ask yourselves this one question why do I do the things that I do or why did I speak the things that I spoke remember you are accountable